All right, fellow YouTubers. Uh, here we have a DC to DC power converter for a Honda Insight or Honda ZRZ hybrid vehicles. Um, this device looks identical for the uh, 2010 to 2014 Insight and the 2011 to 2012 ZRZ, but they are two different vehicles. Uh, so you cannot interchange them because of uh, uh, software uh, purposes. So this one is specifically for uh, Honda Insight, but they can be tested the same way. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing today is testing, bench testing uh, this unit to see if it generates any power. Okay, um, like I always say, this video is for uh, informational purposes. I am not telling you uh, that you need to do this. Okay, this is just a way that I found out um, how you could test them to make sure that they are functioning before they get installed. Or uh, if a customer comes in, tells me like, hey, my vehicle is not charging. And uh, they said it got defective converter. So I'm able to just bench test it and verify whether it's working or not okay the process is identical for the inside and the zrz all right so i'm gonna go over real quick on all the connection points okay and then the things you will need all right we're gonna start off with your input side of the house your high voltage input okay uh this vehicle is uh equipped with a nominal voltage of 100.8 Okay, so this is your input side. All right, this one is your positive. This one is your negative. Okay, then you have your output side for your 12 volt system, your charging system of your car. Okay, this little stud right here, or this terminal, is for your 12 volt uh, battery system. Okay, and the ground is the actual chassis itself. All right. Now, for control purposes, you have this little plug right here, all right? For this vehicle, the pin that you need to access is the far right, okay? That's the one that needs to be excited with a 12-volt uh, power source. Be careful when tapping into here, all right? Do not touch any of the other pins as they are for your CAN bus communication system. If your device is still good and you end up shorting out your CAN bus system, well then it's no longer any good. Like I said, this is just a way of me testing them. I have custom plugs um, that allows me to just plug in and, you know, turn it on without having to find something to pin in there and touch it. So... All right, so now that we've covered uh, all the connection um, points, the additional things you'll need is, uh, you know, a standard multimeter, uh, a standard 12-volt battery or close to it. I'm using a retired Honda Civic Hybrid uh, battery module, and then I run it through a uh, resistor bank uh, to avoid, uh, you know, putting full amperage into this little battery pack. Okay, but in order for this thing to work, uh, the low voltage needs to be connected as well as the high voltage. It needs to detect that there's a battery connected to it. So, with that said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this thing connected. And then I'm going to walk you through on basically showing you whether it works or not. All right. Okay, so you can see it's hooked up already. Um, like I said, this is your high voltage side of the house. You need to use extra precaution when doing this, all right? This is high voltage. It could harm you or kill you. I'm not responsible for that, so I'm saying that. So we're going to check real quick what we got here. Uh, I got 94.8 volts coming in here, okay? And then for the output side, uh, I already have the battery connected and we got 11.96 volts okay so with that said we're gonna go ahead and 
set up our multimeter right here. Okay, as you can see, it's reading what the battery has right now. Okay, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I have a custom pigtail. I'm able to test a bunch of different uh, DC converters. Okay, and then I have a custom little test box that I can test other things to include fans and stuff with PWM signals. Um, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and power this thing up. All right, we are ready to uh, apply voltage. Remember, far right pin. Okay, I say again, far right pin. Okay, we're going to go ahead and apply 12 volts to that. And let's see what happens. Take a look at the multimeter. There you go. Y'all can see he woke up and started generating power. If anybody got any comments, questions, or concerns, don't hesitate to uh, leave comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.